Hello everyone! Thank you and welcome to my channel. I am Jas Imani and today I'm going to show you how to make that centerpiece that you saw in the picture. And yes, I'm going to show you another way to incorporate it and I'm going to give you other ideas so that you can kind of make it look different. But we, before we start, I'd like to thank all my subscribers. I am so happy because I have 335 subscribers. Yes! <laughs> anyway. <laughs> okay, guys. Um, let's get to the video because if not, I can go on forever and I start crying after I start thanking everyone. So, I don't want to cry. <laughs> See, I'm already starting like, so let's... Let's get to the video. <laughs> For this centerpiece, what you will be needing are two keys, or if you can find a, an X, that'd be better. And you will be needing six elbows and six couplets. Okay, so... Uh, in case you don't know what are it's these little things yes and as you can see I like buying the big thingy you know why because they come out a lot cheaper and for my elbows these are the elbows see these are elbows and yes it's best if you're going to keep watching my videos or if you like working with PVC I do recommend that you just buy the bag or just that container that I get and um, you will need approximately um, three and a half feet of PVC depending on how tall or short you'd like your centerpiece to be so um, let's get oh yes yes the couplings where are my couplings? These are couplings. And um, also, I am using half inch PVC pipe, but this one is too for um, hot water. So this one's a little bit, a uh, little bit pricier, about half of the cold water one. Um, but this one is a lot thinner. The other one's just slightly thicker than this one, but it should work. Okay, let's start. What I did right here was glue both my tees back to back. I made sure they were put together. Like I, I actually put them here on this uh, thing. And I went ahead and added the glue. I waited for it to be completely dry. Once it was dry, I went ahead and did the bottom part. Okay, for these, also, the, the size is, um, it's up to you if you want it to be uh, wider or if you want it to be this short. These are two inches and, well, of course, look at the way the elbows are put on this. You need to make sure, see, one is up to the side, up up one up and one to the side that's how you put it together and then you will put this other one in here or wh how whatever way you'd like and th these are my couplings and for those of you who haven't seen my other videos okay all I did was paint my couplet Paint my coupling, went ahead and added some of this um, diamond garland from Dollar Tree, and then I went ahead and added this rhinestone. You can always substitute this big rhinestone with maybe three, five, as many smaller rhinestones, and it'll give it a nice look too. Not as pretty as this, but it will look pretty. Then, my longest one, let me hire the camera a little bit. Mm, there we go. My longest one will be at the back. Actually, I want the shorter one to the front. And uh, as I said, you guys decide 
going to be your centerpiece, so you decide which one, which side you want it to go. Okay, let me see. This one is long too. So I'll put it like that. And then this one's kind of a half size. Like that. And oh, I'm missing. I put it, in, I had taken it apart. I'm sorry. So, let me go ahead and put. See what I did? I had forgot about this other one. See? No wonder it didn't sound quite right. There we go like that so it'll be one that's going to be going up like this and then up see it okay phew sorry about that then I'm going to have Another one of these. See, so if you um, do not, by any chance, if you mess up, you it doesn't come out right. Don't worry about it. So see, even I have trouble with these things. Oh gosh. Here's my other piece. See, I was missing pieces. See, so don't get all frustrated or anything. You just keep going, mess, mess with these little things. Because really, guys, if you stop and think about it, this is what were the hard part. Knowing when to put your your teeth to the side, when to put them up, when to use your teeth, what uh what you can um uh, put to the um uh, what is it um. Uh, that thing about uh, not finding the part kind of messed me up. But anyway, and two. Let's see. There we go. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six. Six of these little things. See how it looks? Just all different sizes. And as I said, if you'd like, you can make them all the same size or all of these three short and these back one's long or one long one short one medium size it's your centerpiece you make it as you wish as you're happier with it okay so there we go i hope um, i explained myself right yeah see you want to see it from the bottom see and then please don't mind the dogs Oh, the, not, the sound, it's my babies, the dogs. <laughs> oh, yeah, I feel so bad I call them dogs. Well, they are, but anyway, they're my babies. Okay, and now for the, for the flowers. In this case, I use one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, seventeen. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. 17, but you can always use uh, just um, a little stem with uh, five uh, six roses it's up to you too how many flowers you'd like to you'd like to add and always remember see how this one's missing one yes because i didn't add glue guys always hot glue this part right here see this right here so that your flowers do not fall off and then after i already put set it all the way i wanted it all i did was this Yep, that's it. Oh, and how did I put the flowers together? I just got the bunch, see? Nothing to it. I just get five of these, put them together, tie it, and I like to use um, electric tape because it's less stickier. And then I just bend this, I just bend this in. And um, if you just wanna have it, 
per se at home, you know, I mean, like, you know that pe visitors are not going to go over and be looking at it, right? Because um, this way, you can always take out the flowers, change the color of the pipes, do whatever or as many centerpiece styles that you'd like. You can always alternate. And yes, please do use um, hot glue if you don't want it to be permanent. If you want it to uh, have it and be changing the way it looks for whatever occasion reason, use hot glue. I recommend hot glue because hot glue stays put like pretty good. However, I mean, it'll be a little rough to take it off, but it won't be as rough as if you were to use the E6000, which I always recommend, or the PVC glue, because now that you, you're going to be not only losing pipe, but you will be using your, I mean, you won't be losing only pipe, but you will be losing your little parts as well. Because once it's in and you glue it without glue, uh, you're going to have to cut. So there goes a little tiny piece of your pipe plus the coupling. You will not be able to use it anymore. So you're going to have to buy more. This way, you don't like it like this. Go ahead and cut it or uh, also I recommend that you buy the whole 10 foot of pipe because it comes out cheaper than buying just um, the I've seen them I've seen them at Home Depot they sell them at two footers guys it's ridiculous they cost more than if you buy the whole the whole 10 feet so go ahead and buy the the whole 10 feet if you can't fit it in your car, make sure you buy some uh, PVC cutters or take your own from home. Cut it and put it in your car. Problem solved. Okay, so you wanna make it uh, Valentine's. These are from Dollar Tree. You just go ahead and add your, your little hearts. Of course, you will be hot gluing these little hearts. You will add the little hot glue, stick them in, hold it until it's dry if possible. If not, you're going to risk that your hearts do that and uh, fall to the side. So just make sure um, it's, uh, it's where you want it to be. See, you just add that. Or let's say you want to add butterflies. Okay, well then just go ahead and buy your butterflies. I got these at the Dollar Tree. Let's make it, whoop, I broke it. Hearts and butterflies. I'm very rough guy, sorry. <laughs> sorry. Okay. Hearts and butterflies. Hearts and butterflies. Yes. And you can fix them however you'd like. Oh, you can even put them like right here on this little thingy. Right there. And yes. Let me take this off. I might need more. And of course your champagne glasses that adds that little extra beautiful touch. I love these uh, champagne glasses, guys. I mean, they are so nice. They really, really add uh, that little pretty touch, elegant touch to your centerpiece. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? I love it. I, I, I really do. And let's say you want to make it, um, what is it called? Winter Wonderland. Okay, let's take the butterflies off. We put some of these little things that I got at the Dollar Tree too. Just uh, remember, glue them. Add a little bit of glue. Stick them. And if you're going to have this this centerpiece um, to, at home, or if you're wanting to make it for, um, per se, you own uh, um, an event center or a banquet hall. Make sure you glue it to the leaf because if you glue it to the flower, there goes your flower. You will not be able to use the flower again because it's going to glue so much, to, so hard that you're going to have to cut that little petal to be able to take this off. So just glue it to the leaf. Make sure you glue the things to your leaf. And you add some icicles. Ta -ta. And the same thing goes for the icicles. You put the glue and then you just add your icicles. And there we go, Winter Wonderland. 
Now let's let's do Enchanted Forest. Enchanted Forest, Enchanted Forest. Okay, I got this at the Dollar Tree. See, but however, guys, if you can't find these at the Dollar Tree, these are um, moss sheets. If you cannot find them, guess what? Don't worry about it. All you have to do is get you some of this foam or even a cardboard. Add some glue to it and buy some moss and put it there. It'll stick. And voila, you got it. You got it. And let's put it right there. See, you can make the little mat. See how it's already looking with that little greenery around? See, that's it. And you will, to add that little extra green, you're going to put a little bit of glue right here, put it in your little champagne glass, and then you will get the, oh, the teacup, the tea light. Hang on. YouTube for a while guys I am sorry I'm a little rusty so then you add a little bit of, of um, glue just a tiny bit okay and then you're just going to set it on top of the this little moss thingy there we go ah pretty right pretty 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 okay and also if you'd like you can add um, lights these lights are kind of orangey but however i mean okay you'll get my point right you can find the clear ones put them in there fix them up and yes i know i'm missing some champagne glasses for the overall look but guys i'm sorry <laughs> sorry sorry okay you hide it very well and anyway Sorry about that. Okay. Um, here. Ta -ta 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 -ta. Here we go. We have Enchanted Forest. Yes. How about that? Like it? Like it? Like it? Like it? Yeah. Yeah. Aha. Uh -huh. I know. I know. And it is so, so simple to make. And affordable and it's something that you can not only use for your parties um, weddings quinceañeras or you can use it as a centerpiece too you can even as I said the bottom part you can make it wider so that you can put this in the center of your dining table yes or at the entrance of your home I mean it's your centerpiece you put it wherever you'd like at all I'm hoping is that you guys like it and you understood and if you didn't understand anything because I am kind of like uh, like I said I haven't been on YouTube for a while I've been very very busy but feel free to comment because I would love to answer any questions that you may have till next time I love you guys you guys take care and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Love ya.